Last week on Sailing Ruby Rose, we were port bound due to the strong easterly winds called the Levante, and so we caught a train to Seville, spent a couple of days in this amazing Andalusian city. Good morning, it is almost 6am, um, it's still very dark outside, uh, we are up and <laughs> ready to go, um, yes hopefully today is the day that we uh, close at the Gibraltar Strait and we end up in Gibraltar tonight, that's the idea, fingers crossed. I'll take the bow off first and then the two midline. Yeah, yeah. Is that a yes? I'll take the bow off, yeah. Alright? Yeah. Okay? Yep. Yeah. Yep, you're clear. You're clear. You okay? Mm hmm. Trees. All right. Do you see where that light is? Where that's that yellow buoy? To starboard. I turn there, don't I? Yeah, baby, okay. Just tell me if there's any other ships coming in. Like goodbye, no, I never need it. Oh yeah, be yeah. And the alarm goes off at uh, this this morning it was half past five I'm like Ugh, really really and the problem is it's not that the alarm goes off at half past five and I'm sure a lot of you can relate to this it's that you don't sleep properly I don't sleep properly when I've got an alarm set in case the alarm doesn't go off it's just my own thing on a second OCD that noise is actually um the SC call from Spanish radio or Spanish Coast Guard and actually what it normally says is look out for boats coming in or like dinghies from refugees which is quite sad you know when the alarm goes off it's kind of like oh I've got to get out of bed this is going to be shocking and I just feel grumpy as hell and I always kind of like try and force a coffee down which is never good because it makes me feel sick but then you get a sunrise like this and it's flat calm and you're like alright yeah, it was worth it. Pretty cool. Pretty bloody cool, and I love it. What can I say? I love sailing. It is a absolutely stunning morning on the coast of Spain, and uh, I've had a little nap. I've just come onto my watch after a quick nap, which is much needed. Now we're just motoring along at about four and a half knots which is kind of slow. Normally it'll be all right, but we've got a long, long day today. We've got about, I think it's gonna be about 20, uh, no, not 20, about 72 miles, I think, from Cardiz to Gibraltar. And 
yeah, at this rate we kind of risk getting in after dark, which is really not what we want to do. It's 9.20 at the moment. I don't know how much longer we've got. We've done 15 miles, so what's that? We've got about 60 miles to go. So yeah, we'll be, I think, we'll be pretty close. It gets dark at about 9.30. We shall see. I mean, the moon is usually fairly well lit, so it should be okay. How many mountains to get some confidence? How many deep bays to earn some tailwind? The years pass, I'm still the same. What will it take? By the way, up and down. I'm losing ground Pretend to tell me what to believe I ain't got a sweet tooth for lying Spend to show me how to succeed My wallet is spreading thin oh, ooh, 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 what to do Swings round, comes from the east. I think we're probably going to have quite uncomfortable a couple of hours. What direction get... is the wind coming from right now? But well, it's coming from the southwest. But it's meant to be coming from the east. Well, the GFS said it'll be coming from the west. We don't know. No. We don't know. But it's only three knots. Yeah. Three knots apparent. But three knots apparent. And three knots on the when it's on the beam is three knots. Yeah. So, as I said, I can see how wind over tide would be bloody horrible here. Yeah, there's already like a strange swell, isn't there? It's been a strange swell all day. It's, kind of, it's not a chop, it's, it's short. Shorter than it should be. You can feel it's going boom, boom. Anyway. So, we've had, uh, well it's just a... What are you reading, mate? I'm reading uh, Love in a Time of Cholera. Oh, that sounds cheery. Um, a nice day actually. Yeah. Oh, well, it's like the early start. Summer's was amazing. Um, we had a delicious lunch prepared by you. <laughs> Roast chicken and avocado sandwiches made with homemade bread. Yes. We had tea. Had a handful of dates and almonds. I have caught up with my correspondents. We still have internet, despite the fact that we are burning through Spanish internet faster than we possibly should be. But nonetheless. And we phoned the marina because we got a phone signal to book a berth for tonight. And uh, that's good, really. And what do we see? With my elf eyes, we can see Spain on the left and Morocco on the right, which is fairly awesome. Or Europe on the left and, and Africa. Africa on the right. Unbelievable. Kind of, this, well, I could probably overuse the expression, it blows my mind, but I do find it incredible. That, that blows incredible. my mind, to be between two continents that are so very, very different from each other, blows my mind. Yeah, the thing thing about sailing is, and this is the thing that always used to get me when I first started on this little 25 foot boat, is that I used to leave like, the east coast of England, 
sail down to Ramsgate and be under the kind of like impression oh, that I could it wasn't an impression I could just continue sailing yeah I could have sailed from Konya from the east coast of England all the way around the world well that's that's, that's exactly why we decided to I, embark on I this get it. I get it but the fact that the thing, that, the thing about that is we could just if we were to head that way yeah we could just head that way but literally we'd be you know Morocco to, we'd be in Morocco well we'd be in Morocco for dinner Yeah. At least we can see Gibraltar. Yes, we can. We are officially in the Mediterranean. I think we are. I'm pretty sure we're officially in the Mediterranean. Welcome to the Med. We are. Welcome to the Med. Nick, you feeling good about this? You talk to me? Yeah, of course I'm talking to you. Yeah, yes, I am. I'm feeling much better about it when I've got the cold beer in my hand, the boat's tied up. And I've got some empire in my belly. Absolutely, it's been a long day. But I am excited about being in the med. Yeah. I'll go back to the med eventually. <laughs> I'll go by America. <laughs> yeah, we kind of got you the long way around. Our original plan was actually to come to the med like from the very beginning, to sail straight to the med and spend time here before going to the Caribbean, but that didn't happen. We went halfway around the world before we came to Europe. <laughs> The med. Yes. Yeah, she certainly has. She's taking good care of us. Spanish vessel. SBS Antaloya. Spanish vessel. SBS Antaloya. This is British on board ship number 285. You are British Gibraltar territorial waters. I consider you to be violating the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea, Article 19, governing the rights of innocent passage. Your activities are being recorded and are being reported to higher national authorities. You are to cease your current actions and leave British territorial waters immediately. Technology. I mean, that's not serious. Can you say chorizo? <laughs> Spanish answer to everything. <laughs> All right, do so you know where you're going? Reversing in, babe. Give me one. Yeah, please. No, 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 you do that. You do that. No, no, you do that. Take, 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 take it away. Okay. okay.
Yeah. So, my love, what have we got for dinner? We How have, do we celebrate? We have empanadas and salad. Ooh, and beer. Yes. Yes, indeedy. I'm ready for Look at that sunset. And so, sunsets on another day. Hey, babe. A successful day. 72 miles. Imagine. We're both ravenous. Imagine what beer. Cheers. This is still Portuguese beer as well. Oh, it's so good. Join us next week as we explore Gibraltar. This is an amazing place, a little bit of Britain at the very tip of Spain. And where else in the world can you cycle over an airport runway and then go and see macaques all on the same day? It's cool, we hope to see you next week. Thank you so much for watching this week's video. If you like what we do and you want to see what we do every week, then please hit that subscribe button. There we go. Cheers, bye.